Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to the 44th lecture. We have been discussing about the gyroscope and this gyroscope then we are going to apply it on the satellite. Okay. This gyroscope it is a multi, it is a used in a multiple ways. Okay. It can measure the angles, uh, angular rates okay. and uh, also it can be used as the torquer. Okay. Means if you put it inside the satellite and if you provide torque along one of the axis say along the y axis. So, you can get torque along the another axis which we are going to discuss in the future. So, we have been discussing about this gyroscope this was our problem. So, here it is a x direction inertial x direction inertial y direction and inertial z direction it is a shown and with respect to then the gyroscope it is a rotating like this. So, uh, this with respect to this axis, x axis is here coming out like this and y axis has been taken like this which is lying in the plane of these frames. These are the frames okay, in which plane the your uh, these two uh, frames the shown by the red and the blue they are forming one plane they are right now in the same plane. If I now rotate the external frame which is the blue one by the psi angle. So, it will look something like this. So, from this position it has rotated to this position okay. and thereafter if I give rotation about this axis okay, y axis the capital X, capital Y and capital Z axis they remain fixed. Okay. So, here capital Z axis it is a there and uh, capital X and capital Y they are not of use to us right now, okay. but the, the small axis which we have chosen as the body axis. So, what we do that we put a body axis like here say right now in this direction I also choose the x axis and along this direction I choose y axis. Okay. So, th these are the small x axis and small y axis and small z axis will be along here in along this direction, but it is a fixed to the red frame. Okay this axis is fixed to the red frame. So, x, y, z this axis is fixed to the red frame here. It is not rotating along with the brown disc and not rotating or spinning better it is this word we should write here is spinning. along with the disk. So, this case it will uh, make the whole thing very simple. Now, come to the same figure I was trying to reproduce here. So, leave it that. So, it has already rotated by the psi angle this the then the your red frame and here the blue frame I have shown here by. So, the, this is your blue frame basically this is the blue frame which is shown here in the rotated position and then the red frame now it is rotated by theta. So, it is a rotation is about the y axis and x axis is here, but this x, x axis is not rotating along with the disc. Okay. Your disc is here, okay. this is your disc, but this x axis will not rotate along with the disc rather it is a, it's a y axis is fixed here. So, the x axis will be always along this. Okay. So, if here this is, this is your, your small z direction. Okay. So, your x y z axis now it is appearing to be tilted. So, if I take this to be the vertical, so your z direction is appearing like this a small z 
and y direction is appearing here and x direction is appearing like this. And using this figure, now we can describe the motion of the gyroscope. So, omega the angular velocity of the gyroscope already we have discussed uh, how to formulate this in details, but still because we are taking the uh, not the torque free case, but the we are going to work with the torque. So, uh, I will take it up uh, again. Okay. So, psi dot times in this direction the capital K cap this is the unit vector. So, th this is your unit vector this is along this direction as shown here okay. plus theta dot. Theta dot is along a small y direction. So, I will write it with a small j cap okay. and then phi dot phi dot is along the small z direction. So, we write it with a small k. So, you can see the difference this is capital K and this is a small k. So, we will mark with this, dif this uh, difference. Now, we have to determine we want to express everything in terms of x y z coordinates. So, this capital K I need to convert in terms of small i, small j, small k. So, these are the unit vectors along the body axis. So, this capital K then we can write as as you can see from this place see if I draw this as the capital K vector and this red line it is inclined to this. So, your x axis is here in this direction this is your x axis and y axis is along this direction and this is your small z axis and this is capital Z axis. This is the situation this is your angle theta. Okay. So, what will be the this capital K unit vector how we can write in terms of this is small k cap, small j cap and a small i cap. Okay. So, you can see that this i cap unit vector this will have components along this direction and also perpendicular to here if I look from the this place it appears like this say this is your x direction okay. this angle is theta. Okay. This is a little perspective view. So, I am showing it from the this side okay. from this side we are seeing it. So, if we see it like this. So, this is the horizontal okay. and this is your unit k direction and this is x direction this is small z direction this is capital Z direction. So, this is i cap here. So, what will be the unit vector along the z direction this will be simply we can write here minus i cap because this i cap is along the downward direction ok. So, in the negative direction of this capital Z ok. So, we are taking the components along this direction ok of the unit vector. So, minus i cap cos theta ok the angle we have missed out this angle we are taking as this angle is our theta ok. So, this is 90 minus theta similarly if you rotate here by theta. So, the x which was horizontal initially this will go down this will become theta. So, this angle will be 90 minus theta ok and therefore, this will be cos Ninety minus theta, and then the component of this rotation has taken place about the y axis. Okay, therefore y axis is still remaining horizontal. X has, axis has got inclined, and z axis has, has also got inclined. So therefore, the unit vector along k can be capital K can be written as k cap 
cos theta. So, this becomes minus i cap sin theta plus k cap cos theta. And from here this implies this omega can be written as psi dot times then copy this part theta dot j cap then this part phi dot k cap and then i k k terms we can combine together and separate out the terms. So, that gives us minus psi dot sin theta times i cap plus theta dot times j cap and plus phi dot plus psi dot cos theta times k cap. So, you have these are the components of angular velocity along the body axis. So, you can see that here if I write here in this place itself. So, your omega x this is equal to minus psi dot sin theta similarly omega y that becomes equal to theta dot and omega z it is equal to phi dot plus psi dot cos theta. So, these are the components of the angular velocity along the body axis. So, see the difference here phi dot is it is already having a rotation about this axis. See this part I will do it in a little better way. This is the z axis and about this you have the rotation ok. Here there is a gap shown here in this place. So, that gap in this place you can see a gap. So, that gap is showing that it is a going from the behind means it is a anti clockwise. Now, this gap is much more visible. Okay. So, to this phi dot your further this quantity psi dot cos theta this is getting added up. Okay. So, we must be careful about this term okay, where psi dot cos theta. So, what we have got psi dot sin theta times i cap plus theta dot times j cap plus phi dot plus psi dot cos theta k cap. Now, we can calculate the angular momentum of the system. If the system is free from the external torque, so angular momentum vector will be constant. If it is not free from the external torque, then angular momentum vector it cannot be constant. And here our assumption is all the frames are massless, so that their inertias can be moment of inertia basically here inertia implies moment of inertia their moment of inertia can be ignored or is zero if it is massless so it's a just an ideal case which is never possible in reality and for that we will take care of uh, once the system is mm, having certain mass all the frames mm, are having certain mass. So, in that case the system equation will change. 
so there uh, so that their inertia can be ignored also x y z constitutes principal axis of the wheel because here we are going to imply one fact that if i put axis like this say this is x y and z so my wheel can keep rotating but you can see that i x and i y will not change okay and therefore as i have told you earlier that the body frame is not fixed to the wheel it is located at the center of mass of the wheel but it is not rotating along with the wheel so that simplifies the equation of motion okay otherwise you have to carry a tag for the rotation of the wheel also and why we are doing so because this wheel is having symmetry about this axis because of the rotation of this wheel about this axis the moment of inertia does not change and we are using this fact to our advantage so h0 then we can write as ix times angular velocity in this direction omega x times i cap i y times omega z times j cap no sorry this is y k cap okay. so omega the components of omega we know from this place so we can insert here in this point so this becomes i x with minus sign psi dot sin theta i cap plus i y times theta dot j cap and i z times phi dot plus psi dot cos theta times k cap so this is your h0 the angular momentum vector okay similar type of problem we have done earlier but uh, what we are doing here we are going to describe further because uh, this case while we are discussing so uh, a similar sort of this kind of device it will be put inside a satellite say here say this is the satellite inside the satellite this is a cavity in which you have mounted your gyroscope this gyroscope okay and outside this the satellite is there so i can have a satellite which i can if the cursor is visible on the screen uh, cursor is visible so uh, i can assume that like this is my outside the satellite is there i am showing this by dotted line inside there is a cavity in that cavity this gyroscope is mounted okay instead of gyroscope there can be just a wheel okay which we call as the reaction wheel so those things i will take separately because i have to discuss those things in details okay so by actuating about one axis you can produce torque about the other axis and there is a benefit of using the control moment gyroscope okay and there are certain disadvantages also so we are going to discuss all those things in the future so this is your angular momentum vector as we have written here now let us write ix equal to iy equal to i so here this you are replacing it by i this you are replacing by i and iz i am replacing by i0 okay. so iz we will write as i0 so in that case your h0 because the symmetry is there so we are utilizing that symmetry so this becomes i times psi dot minus i times psi dot sin theta i cap plus i times theta dot j cap plus i0 times phi dot psi dot cos theta times k cap so these are all small okay along the body axis now this body axis if you see the body axis which we have fixed here 
okay this is not rotating along with the disc okay and as a result the angular velocity of the of the inner frame or the of the inner frame or x y z axis angular velocity of the inner frame let the angular velocity of the inner frame is shown by capital omega okay so you can see that while the your uh, x y z axis is not spinning with the wheel so this will be constituted of only psi dot capital k cap plus theta dot small j cap only this two will feature out phi dot will not be included because phi dot that gives you the angular velocity of the spinning speed of the wheel while your the axis we are taking it is not spinning along the with the wheel so the frame angular speed is only this one okay and already we are we have written here the capital k so here the only thing this phi dot you can delete and this can be written as psi dot sin theta times i cap plus theta dot j cap because your this frame is not rotating along with the wheel so what will happen in that case only we need to set this phi to 0 and we recover the thing okay. so here rest of the things will be psi dot cos theta times a small k cap okay. or either you just put the k here capital k here and this j is at is as it is so as you put you will get this part okay and it is a directly visible from here this equation also. So, this is your capital omega vector which is the angular velocity of the frame. So, if m 0 is the torque acting on the gyroscope So, m 0 is the torque acting on the gyroscope. So, we can write this as m 0 equal to d h 0 by d t plus capital omega cross h 0. h 0 is your this vector which is in defined in the x y z axis you are defining with a axis which is rotating at this rate ok here i cap j cap and k cap and therefore this is rotating at this one not at this one ok so if you apply this if you write in this equation small omega here in this place instead of capital omega everything will be wrong ok because your frame your h 0 you have defined in x y z frame and this x y z frame is rotating at capital omega not at which is not equal to small omega ok. So, therefore, including this is will be completely wrong ok. So, we are not going to use that part and this part this is with respect to the body axis. So, what equation we are using here we are using transport theorem of mechanics which we have developed while discussing the rigid body dynamics. Okay. So, this is with respect to the body axis means this is body axis is nothing but your x y z axis. So, differentiate this 
So, S 0 your i j k in the body axis they are not changing. So, we do not need to differentiate only these quantities will be differentiated and we have to insert there at there. Okay. So, once we do that, so that becomes minus i times psi double dot sin theta times i cap minus i times psi dot then sin theta we have to differentiate. So, that becomes cos theta. So, first we will put theta dot here. Okay. So, psi dot psi dot theta dot times cos theta times i cap. So, this is the first term it is a differentiated the second term is i times theta dot only. So, this is theta double dot i is not getting differentiated. Okay, remember this is in the body axis means you are in this axis which I am showing it here. Okay. In this axis the i is not changing because of the symmetry. Okay. If there is any other shape, so it is possible that depending on the shape basically, if the other shape is there, so i x and i y they will change. Okay. Then you cannot do like this what we are doing here we are assuming that this frame is this frame is not attached to the wheel. So, that will then not be valid in this frame then the moment of inertia will start changing. Okay. So, this we are using to our advantage okay, this keep in mind because this is very basic this uh, while solving many problems you will find this kind of condition and if you utilize this shortcut. So, your problem will become very simple and then the last term is there which is i 0 and then this particular part ok this we need to differentiate. So, phi dot will become phi double dot. So, we get here phi double dot the other term is psi dot. So, this will be psi dot and then cos theta is there. So, cos theta will remain another term is psi dot. So, this will become psi double dot cos theta then psi dot cos theta will get differentiated. So, that becomes then the sin theta with minus sign ok with minus sign here. minus sin theta times theta dot. Okay. We could have saved here by putting a minus sign here one unnecessary step. and there, there, there is a k cap here. So, a small k cap. Okay. Thereafter, we are left with this term. So, psi tilde times h 0 cross. So, this will be given by we can write it as you can write in the form of a determinant rather than expanding multiplying in the form of determinant it will be much more easier to work with. Okay. The components of psi is this capital omega. So, components of capital omega we have to pick up and put it here. So, in the x direction that component is psi dot sin theta. Okay, we will do one more shortcut rather than doing this this will also be expensive. Okay, so, already we are aware of that omega tilde cross this indicates a skew symmetric matrix okay. on this side there will be something this side and the diagonal elements will be 0. 
So, here basically this quantity is your you, you can write it like this omega tilde cross. So, this is in the here it is written in the form of vector here you can write the same thing in the form of a matrix means it is a, a so this becomes your this part basically we are replacing by the skew symmetric matrix and this is S 0 tilde. So, in the skew symmetric matrix this component is 0 and then put the other components of here. So, here minus omega 3 uh, the third component of the capital omega should appear. So, that third component of capital omega we go back here and look into this place uh, here in this place. So, third component is this one psi dot cos theta. So, uh, here it will come with minus psi dot cos theta and then the second component will appear second component is theta dot. So, here it goes with theta dot okay. and this part then it will come with plus sign psi dot cos theta ok diagonal element is 0 and here the first component will appear and the first component is here minus psi dot sin theta. So, minus psi dot sin theta and that appears with minus sign here. So, minus psi dot sin theta. So, I will do the simplification here itself and this minus sign this minus and this minus that makes it plus. So, I will make it plus here in this place itself. So, that goes with a plus sign here ok this is plus. So, this again this sign I will not put here unnecessary to complicate this. Okay. And just opposite of this then there will be theta dot you can see here this is minus. So, this is plus. So, here this is with plus sign then here it will appear with sin dot sin theta and this is 0 and then put the h 0 components here. So, h 0 components is given here in this place this is one part second part and this is third part. So, we need to uh, so this part we have uh, here also we have put the same thing uh, ok we have written in this format. So, we will take from there because the i x we have replaced by i. So, this format we will take. Okay. So, this is your first part this is the second part and this is the third part. So, we have to put accordingly ok minus i times psi dot. So, minus i times psi dot this is sin theta. Okay. So, sin theta will appear here. Okay. The second part was i times theta dot. So, that goes here and the third part is i 0 times pi dot plus psi dot cos theta. Okay. Now, do the matrix multiplication after matrix multiplication whatever you get. So, that becomes your capital omega times h 0. So, here the first part what we have got here. So, this is one part this is the second part and this is the third part means the x component y component and z component. Similarly, in this multiplication the first line will show because this is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is 3 into 1 matrix. Okay. So, ultimately you are going to get a 3 into 1 matrix. Okay. So, the first component here will be the x component, y component and z component. So, this x, y, z and the x, y, z here present this can be added and you, you will get then this capital M 0. So, I will write in that format only. So, if you do the matrix multiplication it appears like this psi dot theta dot cos theta plus This 
this is just our matrix multiplication nothing else it's a straight forward so these two will cancel out because they appear with the opposite sign okay so this becomes your mx part this is the m by part and this is the mz part so finally we can write our equation m0 which we have written at dh0 by dt with respect to the body axis plus capital omega cross h0 okay so from the previous page we can carry dh0 by dt and uh, put it here in this place okay so you can see from from this place minus i times psi, psi double dot sin this is sin theta okay theta is missing here this is sin theta minus i times psi double dot sin theta and then minus i times psi dot theta dot cos theta minus i times psi dot theta dot cos theta this is what we have got here okay this particular term i times psi dot theta dot cos theta okay so this part we have written here okay and then pick up this part from this place these two terms so we if we add here so the, this term will come with minus sign i times psi dot theta dot cos theta and plus i0 theta dot phi dot plus psi dot cos theta so this is one of the term so this constitutes your m1 okay so this is your mx or m1 similarly the other terms also we can write so the second term again going back here second term is just here i times theta double dot so this is simple i times theta double dot then pick up this particular term here this one so this is minus i times psi dot square sin theta times cos theta plus i0 psi dot times phi dot psi dot cos theta okay and the third term here this is i0 times this quantity so the third term is i0 times the first term was differentiated phi double dot thereafter psi dot and then cos theta was there so cos theta and then with minus sign we have psi dot theta dot sin theta appearing here okay here in this place this quantity this cancels out so that part is your zero so this part is not counting so we remove it from this place so therefore what we have got here this is your my and this part is your mz so we'll wind up this mx equal to minus i times psi double dot sin theta and these two will add together that makes it minus 2 i times psi dot theta dot cos theta and plus i0 times theta dot plus phi dot psi dot cos theta
Okay, so this is the equation of motion. Angular slash this is the equation of rotational motion or the rotational dynamics. As if you can look in this part, this particular part, especially this can be written as i 0 times this was nothing but d by d t phi dot plus psi dot cos theta. So, m z is basically this quantity, okay, this equal to your m z. Okay, so, these are the three equations and using these three equation you can adventurously solve many problems wherever the situation just like the top we were discussing so in that case there is no external frame involved so here we have made the external frame moment of inertia zero so this becomes equivalent to a top okay and we can work out that problem now okay. so we'll continue in the next lecture. Thank you very much for listening.